2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2, question number 8. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle. Point A, B, C, and D lie on the circumference of the circle. Uh, so we have O is the center of the circle. We have A, B, C, and D. Line AB is parallel to EDO. So line, uh, this is line AB, uh, where we have AB is parallel to EDO. And line FEA, F, uh, that is FAE, is a tangent to the circle. Uh, at A, so we have the tangent at A. Angle FAB is A, so this angle is labeled A. And angle DOA is equal to B. Uh, we have uh, angle, we have B here. Angle DCB is 70. Uh, so we have DCB. Uh, determine the values of A and B. So given this kind of a question, uh, then uh, what you need is to use the information provided uh, to be able to to work out uh, or to find out uh, the, the required values. So here we are given, uh, so you note that ABCD is a a uh, quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a four-sided figure touching the circumference of the or the side or the vertices touching the uh, circumference of the circle. Uh, the opposite side, the angles opposite side of uh, quad, uh, quadrilateral is uh, is a uh, add up to an eighty. The angles add up to an eighty. So if this angle is seventy. Then it means this angle is 110. Uh, again, what we do, we know is that this angle A O A E F or O A E is 90 because the tangent and the radius makes an angle of 90. So with that, uh, we also have this side is equals to that. So we can have this angle. If we know this angle, then we can be able to know this angle. Uh, so since uh, AOD is an isosceles triangle, since uh, these are two radius, these are this is the same radius. We say that uh, angle OAD is equals to uh, this is B, so it is 180 minus B. You divide by two. So this angle here is uh, 180 minus B divided by 2. Uh, now, if we extend these two lines like that, we can also extend that like that and extend here. Since we are told that AB a, is parallel to EDO, then we can say that... Uh, this angle here, these are uh, alternate angles. This is B, so this angle is the same as B. Uh, but we already know that uh, this, the whole of this angle add up to one, 110, or is equal to 110. So it means that uh, if, we add, uh, if we add angle OAD, you add to angle OAB, should be equals to this is angle 110 we know oad oad is 180 minus b this is 180 minus b divided by 2 if you add to b this is the same as this one then that should give you 110 degrees so we multiply throughout by 2 multiply each element by 2 so this will be 180 minus B uh, plus 2B is equals to 220. Uh, this is, we take 180 to the other side, minus B plus B, we have B is equals to 220 uh, minus 180. These are degrees. Uh, don't forget to put the degrees. Uh, so B is equals to 40 degrees. So we already have B. Uh, but we have already we have made, we had mentioned that O A F is equals to ninety. So it means uh, O A F uh, that is this is F is equals to ninety. 
angle made by the radius and the tangent or the diameter and the tangent so we can say that uh, b that is b plus a is equals to 90 uh, but we already know b so 40 plus 40 degrees plus a is equals to 90 degrees uh, so a is equals to 90 minus 50 minus 40 rather not uh, uh, minus 40 a is equals to 50 degrees so that we have identified so the secret here is to be able to use the information given to and the properties of uh, cos and circles uh, that what you learned in cos and circles to be able to determine the required values so that's how you do that and you get yourself four marks